my soul needed a savage friend, a weird daredevil, but do you mend my life? You came at it and thinks you got me on the wrong track. Fought the cancer in a colder sack. Lean says bite back. On life stacked racetrack we react, lacking the cool, but we lean and we lean. 안녕하세요, 저는 루입니다. 안녕하세요, 저는 루안입니다. Okay, so today. Uh, I jumped in before you see it, seeing your mouth <laughs> open, ready to speak, and I was like, oh, get in there quick. <laughs> uh, today we're doing DPR Ian, which is one of mine, because Louise loves to put me through torture whenever it's BTS, because, you know, she's seen them all, she loves them all, she knows everything, and I'm always on the spot. <laughs> well, 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 well. DPR Ian, this one, not only do I know it, seen it, but it's one of my favourites. So... I don't have to say nothing. So, <laughs> yeah. This is Don't Go Insane by DPR Ian. And I think it's one of my favorites, not only because it's a really eerie, cool song, but the actual MV is pretty cool. So I'm just going to let you watch it and let you, you know, filter back all your thoughts before I say a damn thing. Under pressure. Do, 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 Under do, do. pressure. Do, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. Seeing as you, you really like Livingston that we watched earlier. I think DPR Ian is as close to D uh, Livingston's kind of style and voice. Yeah. So I think you'll like this too. Okay, I'm excited to watch. Okay, you ready, ready. I'm ready, ready. <laughs> I spent my night on melting snow Just earning my sorrows and to your gold And I laugh inside, cause you won't know I was here from the moment the lights showed Pause so DPR Visuals, I think that is the name DPR Ian uses when he is the one that is the director and creator of the MV as well as being the artist. I'm sure that's what that means. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but there we go. Cool. And then also I noticed like like when he was playing the piano and he like slammed the piano, he's like visuals changed he was like in different clothes and a darker version of himself and you could see like the dichotomy of like two different personalities there and I think you'd mentioned before that like I don't know much about him like you do but that he has like a personality disorder yeah so he has I'm DID yeah, so I guess it's alluding to that. And even though, like, obviously I don't suffer from a personality disorder, I understand that concept of, like, the ups and downs of, of ADHD for me is, mm -hmm. like, there's days where I'm extremely enthusiastic and positive and, and rushing around doing stuff, and then there's other days where I just don't want to do anything and feeling super depressed and with my ADHD and overwhelmed. And so I can understand, like, that switch that you have like but i can't imagine what it must be like to have multiple personalities that must be insane he also has bipolar disorder uh, i'm pretty sure that is what else he has which is what my stepdad has i actually knew somebody grown up that had did it's very hard to remain friends with somebody who switches between because you don't know who you're like you don't know who you're getting yeah there are some slight tells that a different personality is in charge, but sometimes you really don't know. And it can be really hard to maintain friendships with someone with DID because they have no recollection either of this personality being a certain way towards you. And yeah. there's no guarantee that their personalities all like you as a friend. <laughs> That's true. And had one personality that despised me with a passion. So I knew straight away <laughs> from that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Our lunch date is over. <laughs> exactly. Oh, like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> but yeah, I always got the impression that this song is about his personality. I've never actually sat and deep delved into the lyrics because I've never had them in front of me and read them. I've only really just been like captivated by the MV. I think this is about his disorder. Yeah. That's why I, I got anyway. Oh, bless my heart when the wolves take me away. Don't fall apart when I come back from the grave. Forget my charms, I'll never be the same. We've came so far, only to drift away. Oh, bless my heart when the wolves 
take me away Don't fall apart When I come back from the break Forget my charms I'll never be the same We've came so far I'll need to go inside This video makes me realize there's something seriously wrong with me because you know K-dramas and that aside, this is the kind of dude I would like in a romance drama. <laughs> this would be the one I would date. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree with you. He actually reminds me of a student I used to hang out with when I was at university who was an artist and and I always like had the best time just hanging with him and, and just but I like the message there of like um how you come so far for things to fall apart because I identify so much with that is that sometimes not just self-sabotage, but sometimes you have the world sabotaging you and you, it affects you mentally and, and projects you've been working on, you just drop them or you walk away or you lose interest or you, I mean, ADHD does that too, or you're like, you've, you've made progress in some way and then you just, that's it. I'm done. You know, and it's like, it's, it is a form of self-sabotage. It's like, you feel like you've, or you've worked for years on something that is like, maybe not as practical as it, as it should be. And you think that it's going to lead you to success. And it tends to be something that leads you down a wrong path, you know, and, and you question your sanity with that. So I find that like, this is very relatable to even though like it might be something he did for himself and his own mental health possibly i feel like it's very relatable to people from a lot of people when i first heard that line the very first time i ever heard it it made me think of okay so now i've got through this terribly traumatic thing i came out the other side only for my freaking mental health to kick me in the ass that's what it made me think yeah like you you lived through this horrible ordeal and then whoa you're not over it now <laughs> hi we're mental health we're gonna now screw you up that's what i got the impression yes and i, I like i feel like that's part of that's my story at the moment too i feel like that yeah. it is so true you're very yo-yo at the moment yeah <laughs> No wonder you cry when I'm not with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cried are you videos. <laughs> uh, right, you ready? Ready. Stay by my side when the nightmare goes. I've been feeling distant, just way out of control. But I laugh inside. Just so you can burn the dark when it's time for me So just try Why don't you want to scream? This really does feel like little Christian being like and all these other personalities come in and I'm guessing one of them is more dark than the others and they're waiting for him to come back out again that was the vibes that I was getting the first time I heard it after learning about him having DID that's why I th for me this song represents that I don't actually know if that's true that's just what I get from it mm. I kind of like with this with the pitchforks that's the traditional like anybody who's different is yeah. branded um in societies which 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 or whatever and um, the witch burn the witch but even nowadays like in modern society this would speak to people like single women who are choosing not to have get married sure. or have kids yeah. are like which 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 they're like or anybody with a disorder, anybody with a disability, anybody who doesn't conform to the hamster wheel or to what patriarchal society or society in general wants is 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 condemned, you know. So and he's very much somebody who doesn't conform, you know. So you can see that like he's trying to get that through. And I, I bet he had a really, really, really difficult childhood and and journey to get to this point. So well DAD typically is trauma based something terrible happens that the child they they fracture and parts of them that can't deal with that pain or that it's like a disassociation that's typically i'm sure that's how did is formed so something traumatic must have happened in his childhood to cause that when he was in his the developmental process yeah. like phase of life 
or I like I, I do know it can happen other ways that's just typically how it happens yeah but yeah this also I find it interesting this MV that he kind of presents himself as kind of like a dark villain as if he's some kind of yeah on the villain scale I wonder if that's how he sees parts of himself it's very very deep psychologically like so I go to therapy for cancer the cancer stuff because I got cancer just after divorce and I had other crazy things happening in my life and was that from your job for no reason on Christmas <laughs> on Christmas yeah it was like one thing after the other like I literally like like I had good mental health aside from like ADHD and stuff but then like just being hit like within a period of three years, boom, 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 with like a whole lot of crazy traumatic things. Um, but my therapist basically like points out to the fact that you you make yourself into the villain in a lot of ways, even though it's not your fault, even though it's external circumstances that that bug you down, you blame yourself a lot of the time and you become the villain in your own story. You're like, you have this negative conversation in your head and you, you bring yourself down a lot. And I still do it. I'm still guilty of it. And Lena every now and then has to slap me in the back of the head and be like, stop it. You're good at this. Or you, you, you're productive or you're doing something good. But I totally get that. Like, like, uh, you're like, oh, if I am the villain, let me just become the villain type of, it's the destructive path that you choose is like, if people are seeing me in a negative light, if I'm not succeeding and I'm a disappointment to others, well, let me just stay at a, a disappointment or, you know, let me just acknowledge that's become part of my personality instead of a victim of, of external circumstances. I've been through that for we don't really talk much about mental health on this channel really but i have ocd and part of ocd and adhd are intrusive thoughts and i actually had therapy for a good chunk of my 20s and early 30s because my invasive thoughts truly made me believe i was a terrible person and that there was something seriously evil in me i've now come to the realization that that is a trait of ocd and uh, I have controlled OCD now, but you know, you know, sometimes <laughs> uh, not so controlled. But uh, yeah, for a long time, I truly believed that I was a dark, evil person and that everything that bad had ever happened in my life was because it was in me. And it took me a long time to become the light and love that tells you <laughs> every day. <laughs> Well, I think acceptance is a big, massive step when it comes to a disorder. And I feel like, I hope that's where DPR Ian is when he, he's creating this music. I hope a part of him has just reached acceptance yeah. and realized that he's not a villain. He's no. not a bad person. Exactly, exactly. And you you couldn't be the furthest from the villain. Like, hello. I'm best, right? <laughs> you are. You're savage, but you're not villain. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. when 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 someone comes after me then you're like a villain oh, <laughs> and yeah. i'm the same yeah. for you so yeah. the dark in me comes out when someone messes with people i care about so yeah mm -hmm. i totally get that <laughs> okay are you ready yeah you just wanna try me out. why don't you wanna stay I think I read somewhere that Green Mask represents another of his personalities, but I don't know if that's right. You know, sometimes we'll get comments and they're not always accurate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're just not sure. Yeah. Don't burn me if that's not true. But yeah, that's tell what us. one of the comments said. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, who does Green Mask represent? Is it another of his personalities or is it like his conscience or is it just like an invisible friend? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. To interrupt though, do you know something else I noticed about this song? 
which kind of struck a chord with me is the constant off key piano in the very lower edges of the instruments if you listen closely there's an off key piano it doesn't yeah. quite fit it made me feel like on a symbolic level how people like us were never in tune with society that we're like a constant off key piano i don't know if that's even meant but it's there and that's what it makes me think of it yeah it gives it a very unbalanced feel which i love and i love this this key change now like i see it's gone into like the minute just before you paused it it, went, it, it did a key change key change it's fascinating I also love that the green mask brings comedy into what seems like a very dark kind of serious it's like accepting and seeing the humor and the situation you're in yeah exactly Exactly. lightening up a bubble like oh well this is it (laughs) (laughs) are you ready yeah I love this. Very beautiful. Oh, I love this. I waited endlessly all night, looking up at all the fireflies in the skies. I made it carefully to your side. That's when the lights turned on and you were just a lie I'm saying Of course it got it has a Michael Jackson theatric to it as well. It it's the thriller that reminds me of thriller. Like he's pull, definitely pulled a little bit from Michael Jackson. It has like Gotham City meets Beetlejuice meets Michael Jackson. Exactly. It's very creative. I love it so much. And I like the fact like in a way it's a message of like you find your place, your people. And like mm. uh you might be not fit into society, but you're gonna find a place where you belong you know i love that i love how much it speaks to his intelligence as a creative because it's not just the lyrics it's not just a song it's the whole mv and the layers that's in it it's the it seems at first glance to be a very chaotic doesn't make sense kind of weird video but when you actually sit and pull it apart because i've watched this loads of times now mm-hmm. there is a story in there he's just so freaking clever he he's is. so he's very artistic yeah I like the I like the end as well where it turned into like a funk. I like that I like I, I like that little change because it, it's almost like a change in mindset. It's like, okay, well I am different. I'm a little different, funky, off the the like out of the border kind of different. But yeah, this is me. I love it. Like it just you can feel the mood change. So something I have noticed with his songs is they very often seem to genre switch or tempo switch or like they sometimes take a wee bit of an unexpected twist and when we did our dpr video the last time somebody actually said in the comments that he can be midway writing a song and has a personality switch and that's why sometimes the song changes i don't know if that's true we're just going by your guys's comments which would make total sense because i've noticed that in a few of his songs you can't quite put your finger on what the genre rise because it starts as something and then it switches slightly this one does it too it's like it goes through like a a little bit of a roller coaster of switches this this is why i like this one so much there's so many layers to this one to me this is just creative perfection because you know i'm all about the like thought provoking deeper slightly weird (laughs) (laughs) and it compositionally works which is great i also like it as a like inspiration as a writer like it brings a lot of inspiration of uh because people don't know this but as authors we need to know very much psychologically what our characters are going through lean's very good at at getting a handle on psychology lean Um, wanted to be a psychologist (laughs) lean actually got all the forms to go to uni to be a psychologist and lean went I don't actually like going to school. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, and she's done such deep research over the years. But I think, like, 
the I've done the same in the sense that like you don't just go oh this is my character Bob Bob's going to be divorced and be sad and that's it you know you exactly. go through everything you're like what what is Bob's star sign what is Bob's childhood been like even if it's a secondary or tertiary character um, obviously the main characters you dig in through the most but you need to know every character in your book like what hang-ups they have complexes where they've come from like why they have damage and like how to fix that damage um a lot of times like you'll and in a good like for instance i'm going to use this as an example because we watch it in a good k-drama you get a good psychological like depth to it in a poor drama however you nothing's resolved properly by the end of the k-drama it's rushed and they end up and that usually happens when they they just hire and fire writers and they bring in a new set of writers who haven't got connection to character and so you end up not getting like psychological closure so i think for lean and i like it's really important in our books to make sure that our characters are psychologic like are well-rounded personality wise and that we can communicate that well and so something like like this is really good for an unbalanced character in a book because you can take this MV and you can apply not only like things from the artist DPR Ian himself, but you can apply stuff from the MV into a book and into a character. I totally agree. One of the things I always get feedback from my readers is they either are in camp, understand it, meaning they get the psychology and they're impressed and they're they can see the big picture, or camp. I don't get what's going on. I don't understand why doesn't he just do this? The total lack of understanding the psychology, and watching videos like this, I want so much compassion and patience for people having a mentally hard time. Yeah. And this i don't see this as a oh he would be a great villain in my book i see yeah. this he would be an amazing main love interest in my book he <laughs> would be a main dude because i find people like him so interesting especially with creative outlets and the way he shares things yeah like never once in this mv have i seen him in a villainous role i think yeah. same thing is this would be a character that would be a good ma a good lead in a My, I actually feel empathy for him. I feel sorry for the character in this MV. I want to be yeah. a person that goes in and kicks all their asses and gives <laughs> them a hug. And you know, I don't hug. It's after the pink villains in this book. Yeah, I will, I will whoop their ass. You leave <laughs> that boy alone. I'm telling you, I'm coming exactly. down there. Don't make me. <laughs> right, you ready? Ready. <laughs> Can I just say I low-key love the green mask guy? I do too. You should watch more videos, he's hilarious. Oh, I so love good. their comedy together. He adds like the lightning sort of story part. He like makes it like less serious. Yeah. I love that. that was very joker for me. It was very um joker but like mm -hmm. in in saying that so obviously the green character adds that in like obviously like coming from somebody like who doesn't have multiple personalities we still have those dimensions to a personality as well because um there's days that i'm super serious and then there's days i'm so deep and leans like stop like i'm done <laughs> I will and, come over there. You you stop there now. <laughs> and then there's other times where like uh like I joke around a lot with Lean and she has to deal with my weird sense of humor. But but like I think like you we all have different dimensions to our characters, you know, and so like they we need that side of ourselves that like lighten us up a little bit. So you always have to deal with the autism side to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like sometimes like I could just <laughs> it our times, it our times. Lean will have a focus on something. So we'll be watching an MV <laughs> or even doing something else, like for a book. And then, well, I'll send her a video, like from our social media. And it'll be a video about something that's like screaming the theme. Like it'll be like, uh, I don't know, JK <laughs> eating a lemon full donut. And I'm like, look at his reaction. And then she'll be like, what is that on his hand? And then she'll have to focus on that, like fully, like, and I'm like, forget about his hand. Watch how cute this is. And she's like, but there's something weird going on right there. And she like, I'll have to focus on something small. It's so funny. Sometimes I wonder how you can deal with the 
autism emotional detachment I sometimes <laughs> have <laughs> but you're like super involved or emotional or like something is like and I'm like huh <laughs> So I was like eating this cookie <laughs> and I just don't get it at all there's like the, there's no connection made to the thing that has you extremely like <sighs> and then I'll just be like what's wrong with you like there's something wrong with you you're like Nolene it's you <laughs> that's like that's like a rap for sure the, our rap embodies our personalities <laughs> what is, is actually true. wrong with you oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you're like no girl that is the autism in you like, i'm totally fine i seem fine to me so <laughs> <laughs> so funny i think we work well together though because we have that like sometimes such opposite personalities so we do you're soft and gooey and i'm sassy and scary <laughs> <laughs> um. Although sometimes you're kind of scary and sassy too, so that like, there are days when I'm like, <laughs> and there are, there are times where you're soft, but you want to admit it. So yeah, no, I can admit there are times. I was, I was actually thinking about that the other day. You were having a social media. I wouldn't call it an argument. Lou, Lou likes to stand up for certain topics on social media, and if somebody <laughs> comes at her with a different opinion she's like a dog with a bone and she becomes very oh I will not back down and then there's me who's normally very I'll be sitting being like just be nice to them <laughs> like, okay just let it go I was like oh maybe they didn't mean it <laughs> like, See, like I should have I always say I should have been something done something in the social like social side of things in life or politician like I would be a good politician because I get super feisty and I like stand up for what I believe in so if like I see somebody online who's like got like major red flags and is like is either like racist or saying something super like problematic activist not politician you activist an activist, activist. you would change true. yourself to a tree i would i would chain myself Lean to a tree would be the one who would walk <laughs> over with a chainsaw and cut down the chain and the tree at the same time and be like don't be so stupid in the future <laughs> Yeah, I, I would be more of an activist. I'd end up like Wait. fighting with people online. I get dragged into stuff, which is not you a do. good thing. And then you present him, you'll show me, and I'll be like, just block them. <laughs> 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 just be done with it. Just like, do it. Wait another day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's a little delve into. DPR Ian's mental health and our mental health because you know it's not something we really talk about very much on this channel the obvious aside that we both have ADHD and you have cancer so yeah I hope that was a little insight to the people watching it was it was good I enjoyed that I like that it's going onto my playlist um really becoming a DPR Ian slowly song. I am oh, like so Lean has it in her little checkbook list of must make Lou like a DPR Ian <laughs> as much as she tortures me with BTS. Yeah, I uh, I've only heard two of his songs now. I, I like them both. I like this one. Uh, this is my favorite one of his so far. So yeah, this I'm is my favorite one of his. I will pick the next one because I know exactly what one. Seeing as this one kind of spoke to you concerning. To me, that is very much a song about mental health. And yeah. I think the one that I've got in my head is on the same kind of theme, but in a, a bit more of a heart tuggy, grippy way. I think you'll probably cry at it. Okay. <laughs> Lean's trying to make me cry as usual. We're always, always trying to make each make other cry. cry. <laughs> <laughs> Correction. Lean always tries to make Lou cry. Lou knows she's got no hope in hell of making Lean cry. I have made you almost, you actually lou louder than bombs. Let's not forget louder than that bombs. That wasn't crying. That was deer in the headlights. That was a, I feel something. Let us move on. <laughs> 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 there was a tear there was a tear there was a denied. slight dampening that is not a tear okay <laughs> there was a slight oh something is in my eye let us she move denies on it. i saw it on camera it's recorded for all time <laughs> lean doesn't cry lean doesn't cry ever ever oh, all righty guys okay. well thanks so we'll much catch you in the next one and so let, leave us some suggestions for some dpr ian although the next one is going to be the one i choose so 
Sounds good. Yes, we- we'll Bye, catch guys. You next Bye. You did a good job, Lini. Please don't. Hey, fan base. So fluffy. What so is cute. actually wrong you ready? with you? You're dance such a, dance. a freak. Dance it dance. System failure. Lean, Sarah, hey. Ew. Ah.